Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy d -Loy. So the college football season is winding down. It is almost over. So CBS Sports, they released the five most disappointing college football teams of the 2016 season. So what we're going to be doing today is going through their top five most disappointing teams, seeing which teams I agree with, which teams I don't agree with. And then at the end of the video, you guys, let me, let me know in the comment section below what is the most disappointing team to you this 2016 season as always if you guys enjoy these type of videos please go ahead leave this video a like it definitely helps me out a lot so at number five they have Ole Miss now I thought Ole Miss was definitely going to be in the running for the SEC West originally so I definitely do kind of agree with um, how things played out for Ole Miss so so far five and seven season they're not going to a bowl game and pretty much a disaster. I think they started the season ranked number 11 in the nation. Um, like I said, I thought they would be a formidable opponent in that SEC West, but nothing really has went right for them all year. Um, after the Florida State game and the Alabama loss, I think it was pretty much over. I think their confidence, their psyche, was kind of messed up at that point. They went, you know, a um, nice little run towards the middle of the season, but then you're losing to Vanderbilt, losing Mississippi State, and you're supposed to be one of the best teams in the conference. Um, you really can't look forward to a season like that. They definitely need to try to rebound. But Ole Miss, I do agree with them here in, on this list as one of the most disappointing teams, and that was number five. So at number four, CBS had LSU, and they were pretty much all over the place at this point. You have to kind of sum up this whole year as – a disappointment basically so this is LSU's every single year is supposed to be one of the best teams they came into the season ranked number five in the AP top 25 they also had a couple of first place votes in the SEC West and nothing really went that way either they fired the coach midway through the year and I, I can't honestly tell you what really happened with Les Miles and the whole LSU situation. Uh, I thought Leonard Fournette was going to be a beast this season. Um, he's still good, don't get me wrong, but hasn't lived up to expectations. And I guess that's the whole point of the um, top disappoint disappointing teams, excuse me, in the nation. Um, so LSU, number four, um, it, it, it is so it's definitely suiting. And you see the SEC, it's kind of a trend here because they already had Ole Miss and then LSU. But number three, they're going out west to the Pac-12, which is Oregon. And man, things have definitely changed since Oregon and things have kind of changed since Chip Kelly left. It kind of gradually got worse and worse. I think they were nine and four last year, maybe could have been eight and six, eight and five. I think they were nine and four last season. But this year I know they are four and eight, two and seven in Pac-12 conference play. They were ranked at the beginning of the season. But they, I mean, nothing. I mean, literally nothing. They had a couple of wins at the end of the season just to make their record look better than what it really was. But they were losing, and they were losing badly. Did not look anything like the Oregon we have seen the last six and seven seasons. Weren't ranked in the top ten at any point during the year. Um, was barely ranked at all during the whole season. I think they could have been 23rd maybe. Don't quote me on that to start off the season. But they were definitely in that back end of the top 25. The whole quarterback situation, they've been kind of shuffling quarterbacks for a while. So every year they got a transfer quarterback, they get a new quarterback. Really don't know what's going on with this program. They did fire their coach. So they're looking at other replacement possibilities. Um, it should be interesting to see who they go with. I heard Coach Taggart um, might be the new coach at Oregon. He's the coach now at USF, used to coach at Western Kentucky. Um, so he might be the new guy at Oregon, and I can't speak personally on this. Coach Willie Taggart is definitely a good coach. So if he does go to Oregon, that would definitely be a good fit. Number two, they have Notre Dame on this list. Notre Dame, they were 10 and three last season. Won a Fiesta, uh, went to the Fiesta Bowl, and I thought they would be pretty good this season as well. They're number two on this list. Once again, I kind of agree with um, them being on this list. I mean, number they were number nine to start the season off. That is definitely, that tells you everything right there. Number nine, they have not played, honestly, like a top 25 team. They lost to Texas in overtime, which at the time looked like a huge win for Texas. But we didn't know what Notre Dame was truly going to be like. They lost to Michigan State, who also hasn't been too much better. They lost to Duke who isn't the greatest team in the world either. And then only will get 
just a couple more wins after that, it seems as, as if, at least to me, Brian Kelly might be out as the head coach. Definitely not too sure about that. I don't know if Notre Dame fans want that or not. I don't really closely follow Notre Dame. I'm not a huge fan of the program, but you definitely see did not have the year they were expected to. But then number one on the CBS list, I don't agree with them being number one, but I can see how they were on this list. Michigan State is the number one team as the most disappointing team this season. So uh, they really were not good at all. And I don't really know what happened to Michigan State. Um, I didn't favor them. I didn't think they would be as good as a lot of people said they would be at the beginning of the year. But man, Michigan State was pretty mediocre at best. I mean, they barely beat Furman, who's a FCS team, Division I AA school. They never looked really uh, impressive at all. They did beat Notre Dame, but Notre Dame was just number two on the list, and we find out what Notre Dame ended up being like. And then a seven-game losing streak, that's, that's pretty much, that's terrible. I mean, seven-game losing streak for anybody is awful, especially, you know, when you just need six wins, six losses, and you can make a bowl game, you lose seven in a row, that is not good. Um, they're not going to be bowl eligible, obviously. They haven't won any type of game, any type of meaningful games this year besides the Notre Dame game, maybe. You can't count that one as a meaningful game. But, I mean, they were losing to BYU. They lost to Indiana, Maryland. Um, not like terrible teams, but teams that Michigan State should be beating. And that's exactly what they talked about in the article. Michigan State is not a team that you expect to completely not miss. I mean, to completely miss, excuse me, a bowl game. They should at least get a bowl bid. Michigan State, you actually expect, you know, to be in a January bowl game, at least close to a New Year's bowl game. But really couldn't do anything 3-9. and nine after you were a top 15 team in the country, I think that is pretty much as disappointing as it could get. So, although I don't see them as the number one most disappointing team just because I didn't think they were as good as they were initially expected to be, I could clearly see how they end up coming up with this um, and end up putting them at number one. But that is their top five list. Let me know in the comment section below, you guys, who do you have as your top disappointing teams in the country? Um, a lot of teams to choose from here. Now, my pick, I kind of go with Tennessee. I thought they were way more talented than what they showed out. So, for me, Tennessee was one of my most disappointing teams. But you guys let me know in the comment section below what is your most disappointing team, most disappointed team, excuse me, of the 2016 season. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead, leave this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, D. Lloyd. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.